quantum computers are based on quantum algorithm. The first one is Grover, which is speed up using uh, quantum technology of brute force attacks. For any algorithm, the bit strength of the key is halved. For short algorithm, it is much more powerful and it is suited to attack asymmetric crypto like RSA and ECC. For symmetric cryptography, indeed, having longer keys is the solution. If today you are comfortable with AES-128, then you will be quantum resistant with AES-256. For asymmetric cryptography, the situation is a bit more complex because you have to switch to quantum resistant cryptography algorithm. The NIST Standard Institute has launched a competition for post-quantum cryptography algorithm. The expert in cryptography from Thales took part in this competition by working on the Falcon algorithm, which is today a finalist for signature algorithm. Classical computers rely on bit and logic gates. Quantum computers rely on qubits and quantum gates Qubits have two fundamental properties, one which is state superposition, the other one being entanglement. It means that you are not limited to the binary choice of true and false, but you have a mix of those states. Entanglement is an even richer structure where you have interaction between the mixing of states between uh, several qubits. very difficult to predict. However, we still have available quantum computers handling at the very same time 50 qubits. The difficulty is to have this number of qubits and to protect them from perturbation from the external world. By mixing information theory with quantum physics, one can design quantum key distribution systems, which allow to generate remotely a shared secret that you can later on use as a secret key for symmetric cryptography.